Extremophilia. Ooh, extremophilia. Um, scientists discover strange creatures under a half mile of ice. Yeah, this has been happening a lot <laughs> in this century. Um, everywhere scientists tend to poke, as even in these little uh, uh, th these places in Antarctica that they thought would be completely devoid of life because they're so extreme. Guess what? There's life there. Uh, if you're watching the video, check this out. This is an actual video of, I mean, so cool. Uh, this camera going down this ice tunnel and, and emerging uh, in the frigid water below and then it lands on a rock and as we're gonna see there's there's living things in them that rock this video also simulates what a sperm sees when it's first born into the world okay that was more visceral if you're looking at the video I'm sure than if you're listening uh, Okay, the video shows a descent through 3,000 feet of blue-green ice, it suddenly terminates. So basically, they were drilling uh, down through this ice shelf. Okay, I'm going to show you where it is. It's right on the edge of Antarctica. Um, it's a shelf, not a like lake or anything. Um, uh, so they're drilling through this mile of ice down to the ocean underneath it. And there's liquid water underneath it. It's not land. Uh, uh, but it's so far from any ocean currents, they didn't think that life could live down there. And lo, um, uh, what happened was they drilled down and they hit a rock. And they're like, what the F? Why is there a rock here? So they put a camera down there. And they saw the rock. It, they said it was just our bad luck uh, hitting a rock down there because there's not a lot of rocks down there. Uh, but they hit one. They hit the one rock on the seafloor, and look at these pictures. Uh, look it up if you're listening to the podcast. You can see stalked animals uh, on the bottom left. These are little stalked animals on this rock, living off something attached to the rock. And on top right are sponges. Little. This is five centimeters across, so this is like a centimeter long sponge living on this rock. Somehow, somehow, uh, still getting sustenance from something. So, how on earth could they be getting sustenance? It says here in this Wired article. Um, well, they live under half mile solid ice, and they can't run away from the rock in search of food. Um, but they think that they are living off what they call a drift of marine snow. There's nothing that lives, there's no fish or seals or anything in this place. Um, they're 390 to 930 miles away from any uh, uh, currents, like the active ocean. Um, and usually animals that live near the current, there's something called marine snow, which is which is a drift, uh, a drift of 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 particles that are uh, of of you know uh, uh, life, you know, little little pieces of flakes of uh, uh, dead animals that descend, or, or just general uh, uh, organic matter floating around. Th that's that's 300 to 900 miles away but they think that just there's just this little bit of marine snow that that comes in uh horizontally instead of vertically it doesn't fall from the top but it sort of blows in from the side and there's just enough organic matter that kind of rains down on this uh this this little solitary rock hidden under the ice shelf to 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 feed uh, three sponges and ten little stalks of something. They should fry these up. I wonder if they're 
uh, uh, that might be tasty. Um, I just pulled this other article just for comparison because a couple years ago uh, we reported on um, the Science Jerks podcast that uh, Lake Vostok, which is actually a lake in uh, on the mainland of Antarctica, um, uh, 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 found life under the surface. And this is this this was pretty amazing because this lake is not connected to the ocean and it's fully capped by ice as you can see in this picture if you're looking at the picture uh the you have a lake capped by ice there's some geothermic activity underneath it that sort of heats the water under the ice and lo slash behold a bunch of little amoebas and bacteria and other things are living trapped under this lake forever their whole lives so this just goes to show everywhere we look there tends to be something living and uh this also goes to show that as we start to explore the rest of the solar system guess what expect to find things living we will most likely find actual life or proof of life living outside of earth very soon because everywhere we look there seems to be some kind of life 